Hello, welcome back to the second game between Stefan and Eddie that I'm going to cast. Uh, actually, game 4 out of 4. And we've seen Stefan win the last game. There is no rating displayed yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be the updated rating. Yes, Stefan reaching 2k2+. plus, Very strong. And Stefan saying Saxif. Both players don't want to have two rooks, apparently. And both players are really close towards one another. Uh, let's see who is getting which sheep. Stefan has yet to find these four sheep that are not the initial ones. And I guess Eddie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all right. Stefan got three deer outside. Stefan got a third gold very far away. He's got, let's see, the main gold on the far side, which kind of forwardish the main stone forward, no back base, which is important to see. Th second gold, uh, gold on that gate on the left hand side. Make love to no problem. If you want, I already hate trucks for. Oh, interesting. And a second stone also forward. Let's go for Eddie's base right now. After that, I'm going to uh, search for the relics, which you can see right now here. Main stone really, really forward for Eddie. That's not too good for him. Where's the second stone? It's outside. Ooh, this could be dangerous. Two boars inside, which is good. S uh, third gold also outside. The main gold and a second gold. Very safe in the back. This is awesome for Eddie. Actually, pretty good golds. And two extra golds. Did he scout them? He sent a sheep there already, but he's not sending it entirely to the back. Let's see if he's going to do that later on. He's got four deer inside. Actually, except for stone, Eddie's map is just great. So, such a good map. So nice. And and he uh, just needs to make sure that he is taking the main gold. Actually, this is like a uh, Jon Snow variation of a map. Go for a tower hop, go in and uh, take advantage of what you have. But I don't think this is going to happen. I think Eddie's not going for a crazy trash strategy. Gonna keep an eye on uh, Stefan this game and see how, what he's doing. He's got six, seven villagers on board. That's four in berries right now, six or more. Pretty much the standard build order, getting, going for a second board right now. He's trying to get rear in, of course. Uh, Again, he's got a quite a big luring distance and getting the first farm up. I love to uh, see players build a house before the farm, then you don't forget it. But he's building a house here in the back, uh, hitting the second boar right now, uh, taking a bit of damage on the villager, but that's all right. He's still got seven villagers on that boar and one building a house. It's eight now, going for another house actually, kind of walling this, I guess. Getting the first deer in, and he's gonna go for a lot more food first, and then let's see how many villagers he's going to send to gold and stone. I'm pretty sure we're going to see castles, uh, everything else would be very surprising to me. A second lumber camp coming up, and a villager being sent back. It's a little bit of idle time that you don't really need at this point. He's also sending the sheep just in case. Six villagers remaining, two on the deer, six on the boar, and we have three on lumber camp already, and on the second one. It makes sense, it's pretty much the standard build order. I don't think we're going to see any big variations here. The first uh, oh, last village are going to wood, I guess. Mm, Eddie got one lumber camp. Doesn't have a second lumber camp yet. Going yeah, for more food, apparently. Oh, Interesting to see. And there's uh, deer number two coming in. Also, that's six, seven villagers on food right now. Going for uh, stone mines right now. 25 population. Eddie clicked up to feudal age. 25 pop. Interesting. I wonder what his plan is. But Stefan is going pretty much the standard build order, I think. And that's three and stone, two and gold. And then click up at 28 population. Eddie on 25. Going for stone right now with four villagers. He has collected a lot of food already. He's got five villagers and berries. He's getting the last of the four deer in. So he's gonna have a good amount of food, actually. He is taking 10 gold and he's gonna sell uh, 100 stone and then try to get that castle up in a defensive position or maybe even go uh, aggressive it? here. Sending the last sheep in as well and that means uh, Stefan might be caught by surprise here. Not sure um, if the 27 pop castle drop is a really good idea. Stefan right now walling this. He's gotten two and he's got all three deer in which is nice and Eddie is up to feudal age. He doesn't have all the food he needs yet, but the villagers just dropped up the food. He's now getting the rest from the sheep, and he should be fine. He's got four villagers and berries. That's another forager that's building a blacksmith, I guess. And market coming up as well. The rest of the villagers is going to wood. He didn't need a lot of that, but he needs to send all the villagers to t uh, take up the new work here and that means a little bit of idle time as well. That's this villager is being blocked, Eddie saw it I guess and Eddie's have to castle age. He sold the stone as expected and he's gonna get a mining camp probably here or maybe here. Both would be good uh, positions. This one probably even better and, and then he's gonna drop the castle. 340 f stone. Stefan on 400 but he's not clicked up yet. He's producing the last villager. Marketplace is coming up. Now he's going to have to castle age as well and five 
five villagers on stone, plus three on gold. Mm -hmm. Six farms actually up. The rest is on wood, I guess, for plus four or on the berries. And I surprised uh, that Eddie is actually going this strategy because uh, as far as I have seen it didn't really work out going so early with the castle usually doesn't bring the advantage that you want to have but Eddie is going for it maybe castle right here is sending the villagers out right now and the scout is being kept around I actually wanted to go for the relics there's one there too close to Eddie's space there's uh, three and four on the right hand side number five on the left the villagers going forward uh, going towards the main stone but Stefan can see it right now, that's why Eddie's laughing, I guess. And uh, Eddie going really aggressive here. Let's see how many villagers. Three on food, that's not a lot if you want to produce Janissaries, and only five on gold. He's got a lot of wood in the bank, actually. So this is probably not the best build order we've ever seen. Uh, now uh, light calf against light calf fighting, and the castle is up. Stefan goes with the defensive castle in front of the TC. Not in range of this one, I guess. And he just wants to make sure that anything that Eddie is sending in is going to be hit by that castle immediately. He's sending uh, gold villages as well. Is Eddie doing something other than Janissaries and a really aggressive play here? No. He's trying to get out as many Janissaries as possible. He's even uh, idling his TC for that, and I guess it makes sense but I haven't seen this being successful. Stefan's eco will be alright. He's got his castle up as well. He should be able to produce a lot more with Janissaries than Eddie over time. Eddie of course ahead with the numbers but there we go. Uh, first turn is being shot a little bit and Stefan's wall paying off right now. Getting his piece of stone wall here is gonna get the next house to, uh, to block the entrance and garrison the villagers into the TC that will make sure that the Janissaries cannot go in. The lumber camp has uh, enough distance here and the farms coming up on the other side also makes sense here. Stefan, four, five, Trinistris plus two coming in. Fletching also for the castle, a nice idea. And those Trinistris will go down. One being uh, shot, one shot actually, and the others only running back. Eddie got a siege workshop up, but not enough resources to get a ram or mangonel out yet. And a few more farms, so he will be able to produce more villagers. Stefan is ahead by six, so no. And while Eddie managed to take down Stefan's light cap, doesn't really matter. Five, nine, Genesis, five plus four, and Stefan, two plus, where's the rest of them? Uh, did he go out? He tried to go out. Five and ooh, nice catching a few villagers on the gold. Stefan did not pay attention here. Had to send them back. Mm -hmm. Of course, Stefan's gold is a little bit exposed, and the castle is nowhere near enough to the main main gold. I feel. I think he should have put it more towards the main gold, but it makes sense to cut off the the way here. And now we have nine against nine Janissaries. A few fights, but Stefan with the better shots here is taking down yet another Janissary from Eddie. He score almost the same. Stefan is a little bit ahead, but uh, six villagers ahead and getting more farms are very important here. Stefan got a lot of wood in the bank. I think he should send more villagers from wood to build more farms. He's doing that right now. Pedadarch armor coming in from Eddie. Stefan again going out, but there's no villagers from Eddie left. And Eddie now going with a huge amount of Janissaries, plus one defense. He's gonna have a little bit of an advantage here. Stefan going back immediately. He's gonna stay defensive. Four ramps actually for Eddie right now. So he's going aggressive for 22 minutes into the game. He almost can go for the ramp push. And Stefan is getting a siege work. Probably Manganel coming in, coming out very soon. Not yet. Only one Janissary inside the castle. Just to have one, I guess, to make anything gear. Does he have a lot of units in there or not? And Stefan again sniping one Janissary from Eddie. Eddie's not paying too much attention. Nice snipes here from Stefan. <coughs> Sorry for that. Must have played CSGO or something. Some <coughs> Whoa. Or something like that. Sorry for that. Wheelbarrow coming in from Stefan. Five rams. Start the game already. If this cast is going down, Eddie's winning. If this cast is not going down, Probably Stefan is winning. So it's all gonna come down to this battle. Do we see Petards coming in? No, not yet. Stefan actually preparing Imperial Age, but now the Mangalan coming in. And Eddie with way more Chinese Stefan is not preparing at this point. He's still getting more kills and of course the castle taking out future Janissaries. Janissaries now being garrisoned into the rams because Eddie would have lost too many. Two villagers actually attacking, attacking the rams. The castle is going down mm, or maybe not 388 HP. Stefan is not repairing. Castle is down. Very good for Eddie here uh, but he's so far behind in score he lost so many military units. Only got 13 left. That's a few Janissaries that were inside the rams. 
But Stefan doesn't have any opportunity to get more Janissaries out. Instead, he's clicked up to Imperial Age, and this is very important. Eddie is so far away from Imp, and Stefan just needs to make sure that he doesn't lose too many of the Janissaries until he get, can get the hand cleaners out. Nice shot with the Mangonel. Eddie did not pay attention. This was not good. He lost four or five Janissaries right now. Stefan losing a few as well, but not as many as Eddie. And uh, Stefan, for now, even though he lost the castle, uh, he's still looking good because he was able to click up to him. The rest of Eddie's Janissaries will go down now, maybe with, uh, by catching a few villagers off guard. Can he get that one? No, 2 HP left, and the villager actually surviving. So Stefan looking good, getting the first archer range, has a lot of resources in the bank already. Free chemistry is going to come in immediately, and Eddie only with 4, now 5 Janissaries and 2 rams left. That's not a lot. Stefan only the 4 Janissaries, so big fights happening and actually everything going down. But uh, Stefan is the one who is going to be able to get a lot of hand carriers out and Eddie only one castle at this point. He's not going to be able to do a lot against this. Two of uh, the art range number three coming up. There we go. Imperial Age reached by uh, Stefan. Eddie creating a Manganel Mortion Histories, but he hasn't been on stone. And there is the hand carrier project starting. Also, Bombard cannon coming out. Stefan still got a lot of gold and food in the bank, exactly what he needs. Uh, nice snipe here from Eddie taking down a village from AB2. Villager numbers though, Eddie on 29. And once your villager number is lower than the game time minutes, usually a very bad sign. And once, uh, at least when somebody's in clear relation, nice shot with the bomber cannon again. Eddie not able to dodge the shots, and Eddie laughing and saying, well played, is going to resign. Stefan with a very good defense, and Eddie not with a very good game. He. Deleted his TC apparently. That's that explains the village number. I'm not sure if that was uh, a funny thing or an, an accident. I'm not sure, but that explains a lot. To be honest, Eddie probably felt that he needed to play some troll strategy because they wa didn't want to play Turks for here. So trying to go very early on. On Eddie's best days, this could have worked, to be honest, but not like this. Eddie uh, not playing the top of his game and then starting to troll, of course. I hope you enjoyed this game still. Don't take it too seriously. Eddie was trolling, of course. You can see it here. In, or it was an accident. Possible. Um, would be even worse, but still. And see you in the next game, then. GG.